Welcome to the video how to break into quant. In this video we will be shortly covering the sectors, stories, roles, different things all encompassing. I am doing research that you haven't done. So go ahead and hit like, subscribe. I'm doing this all like some kind of benefactor to the universal good. So slap the fuck out of that button motherfuckers. Let's go. In the quant industry, and the word quant is very much a bucket terminology, okay? It's very hot, like investment banking in the peak of traditional finance in New York in the 1980s. The word quant actually doesn't really mean much. There's way too many roles. You can see much as like a production line at a factory where everyone's like screwing in a different part of the car. So I'm gonna break them all down really quickly and shortly right now so people can actually properly understand stuff. You have the quant researcher who mainly builds on models and signals, back tests and finds alpha. His skills will be maths and stats, Python and C, some C++. He will have a PhD and a master's. He will have strong projects that he's been showing off. He's very good at probability, stats, coding, derivations that have been asked and been given to him in interviews. You've got the quant developer that builds the trading systems, low latency infrastructure, C++, Python, open sourcing, networking, strong computer science background. He's gone down the computer science path. He's maybe a systems engineer from the background, from the ground up. Um, the interview is very heavy in coding and the designing of systems. You've got the quant trader. It's more intuitive based, but still very technical. He will run the strategies, manage the P&L and the tweaks of the execution. His skills will be stats, risk, fast decision making and Python. His path is often maybe through prop shops and internships and the interview will have some brain teasers, probability and trading simulations. You have the ML and data quant, the application of ML plus alternative data for trading models. Skills will be Python, ML, deep learning, data engineering. The path will have an ML or data science background that, turn, that then transitions into finance and the interview will be very much about the ML fundamentals, specifically application of ML to finance time series and coding will be asked of you in these interviews. You've got the risk quant that's responsible for stress testing, value at risk, regulatory models. His skills will be stats, Monte Carlo, Python, maybe R. His paths will be banking and asset management. And the interview will be much about risk modeling and coding. Then you've got the execution and algo dev quant. It's much about the optimization of trade execution, reducing slippage, market microstructure, C++ and or Python. And the path there will be brokers, trading desks, and the interview will be consisting of systems and microstructure cases. Now is the time to get pragmatic and real. Not everyone's going to be a high frequency trader. It's by far the hardest. It's by far the most competitive. Yes, also the highest paying, but that's also why quant is such a popular word nowadays, because you just see 200, 300K, all these crazy salaries, salaries being thrown around. However, not everyone will go there. That's why I'm describing the roles so you can get pragmatic and real. Yes, you can study for quant, but you won't end up at the HFT in most cases. That's why I'm going to describe other paths to go by. You have the high frequency prop trading and market making path. This is all about low latency execution, market making, stat orb, and continuous electronic markets. Common, you will be a researcher, dev, execution engineer, or trader. You have systematic quants, hedge funds, and they will do data-driven strategies across equities, futures, FX, from short-term to signal to multi-factor bets, heavy emphasis on research plus data science. Often here you'll be a researcher, ML data quant, quant PM, portfolio manager, or portfolio optimizer. You have the investment banks, they do pricing and hedging of derivatives, market making for clients, proprietary trading desk, and structuring of complex products. You'll be a quant structurer, derivatives quant, model validator, execution quant, or quant dev. You have the asset managers that do factor investing, risk premium strategies, quant portfolio construction, index product design and analytics, platform and risk toolings that are big like Aladdin at BlackRock. Common roles here are portfolio construction quant, risk quant, data scientist, and quant PM. You have the pension funds and endowments, the institutional investors who um, allocate strategies, uh, allocate across strategies, 
manage long-term liabilities, implement systematic strategies internally or via managers, focus on risk budgeting and robustness. Common roles here are the investment analyst, risk analyst, asset allocation quant, data engineer, etc. Insurance and company and reinsurance, actuarial and capital modeling, ALM, scenario and catastrophe modeling, pricing long dated liabilities, big emphasis mostly here on stochastic modeling and stress testing. Common roles here, actuarial quant, risk quant, capital modeling and data scientist. Exchanges, clearing houses and market infrastructure. They build a big market products, run matching engines, surveillance, derivative design and post trade analytics. Common roles here are market structure quant, product quant, data scientist and surveillance quant. You have the data vendors, analytics and fintech firms. They do production of clean alternative data sets, build analytic platforms, provide quant libraries and tooling for buy and sell side. Common roles are data scientist, quant research engineer and product quant. Then you have the consultants, big four, independent model validation, regulatory stress testing support for those funds the pension funds, for example, insurers, they have implementation and advisory for banks and insurers, as I said, these are classic stepping stones into buy side quant roles, usually. Then you have the common roles here, which are model, the common roles here, which are model validators, quant consultants and risk analytic consultants. Consulting, meaning Ergo, PwC, Deloitte, EY and KPMG. Now you also have another one, which is the retail quant, a lot of those in the discord. You can also build your own stuff. Even if you do not get into any of these roles, programming, uh, statistics, anything of this will have infinite yield for any other job like data analyst, engineer, scientist, um, anything at uh, uh, wealth management, equity analysis, or just making your own investment systems which is why I will want you to get the fuck on my Udemy so you can make something to beat the market for yourself and reduce risk because buying and holding the S&P 500 is fucking stupid. Now this next section is also about another way to get dramatic and that's how other people did it. Sometimes people went on LinkedIn, they found a way, got in contact, joined some groups, joined the family office, you have these ways. There are people that are very successful at trading their own uh, capital and uh, helping people out making their own hedge fund. But then to get a, a wage job, there are often the routes of internships and targeted projects being the most common common accelerant. Uh, you have a lot of engineers without PhDs that got hired, strong, showing strong systems uh, in C Sharp that they showed on GitHub or LinkedIn. You have a lot of non-traditional backgrounds succeeding like business and finance people who upskilled when they were building reproducible work and were doing a lot of networking, going to conventions, LinkedIn again, whatever. And there's of course the factor of persistence and storytelling. I'm going to be attaching a little scroll down video of some resources that I'll be giving you where there are a lot of uh, stories about how people made it. I attached a Medium article, NYU Tanju, big paper, 400 pages and Reddit. And I really, really hope that you go through this because this is a lot of the self reading that will give you the best view of how to do these things yourself, aside from all of the information that I'm already giving you. Now my final tip that is very customizable, but mostly will take your time is to realize where you're at on earth and in life, you are going to be at a place, maybe you have the skills, maybe you do not. So how do you precisely know what company in your near vicinity is looking for? My big tip would be use a little bit of LinkedIn and Google, maybe some Wikipedia, look up where you are. Are you in France? The biggest hub is Paris. Go on LinkedIn, use a large language model, find the top whatever firms and go on LinkedIn, look them up, Paris Finance, just an example, and start looking at their juniors, start looking what degrees they did, yada, yada, yada. I'm Dutch, I knew that, for example, Optiver had uh, traders that only required bachelor degrees in physics, for example. So that was something I was interested in at the time. 
uh, I knew by relocating that other firms had other preferences, other roles. If you are willing to move to other countries, things will be easier. Not every country has as a developed industry in finance as does the other. Obviously, the US, the UK will have more than others. So you really have to also realize your situation. I just gave you a fucking ocean of information. I hope that you hit the like button, subscribe, give me a comment. I want to uptick in this algorithm because I don't do this for no pay. So I want you to help me shoot up into the boxes, shoot up into the algorithm. Help me get to 100k subs by like 2027 because then I can just do like live streams and show you my sweaty feet. Now, I hope to see you in the next video.